Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the top 10 reprints from Iconic Masters. There are some really good ones, and we will start off with Mana Drain. So Mana Drain is a $180 card. It has not been reprinted before. It's actually uncommon. And the interesting part about this is it's a very pricey uncommon from Legends. So hopefully we will see some more reprints in Iconic Masters that are really good and 25th Anniversary Masters. But Mana Drain, definitely a great card in EDH. Better than a Counterspell. Now that you don't have damage from having mana in your mana pool, extra mana in your mana pool, which you used to, that was kind of the downside over a Counterspell, is you had to spend it. Now you don't even need to spend it and you don't even need to take damage from it. So only upside. Next, Averson, Angel of Hope. So definitely a card that I, I like a lot. I am very glad to see her having a reprint, mainly because her price was sneaking up there and I do want to collect a bunch of them. Now, Averson, great card in ED8, does not see that much play in Eternal otherwise. However, it's an angel, it's a mythic angel, and I'm glad that they reprinted her after reprinting Grizzlebrand. Where do I expect her price to be? I expect her price to drop significantly, uh, just a ton, because some of these mythics have to take a beating. I'm pretty sure Mana Drain is not going to be one of those mythics, but uh, this angel, as well as the next angel I'm going to show you, should dra drop drastically in price. Now, I do agree with Mana Drain and Averson being iconic. The next one is questionable, right? They kind of just put in all the uh, expensive magic cards that they could find in a set. Uh, Archangel. Archangel is a mythic. I believe it's going to be reprinted as a mythic. This one is going to take a harder hit than Averson, although Averson sees less internal play than this one. This one has a modern combo. An infinite modern, modern combo, and it's not bad. I like it, but five is a ton. With the plus one, plus one tokens and life gaining becoming more relevant, this is going to be a good pickup. What I'm most excited to do is not to open boxes, right? Opening boxes is kind of, you're, you're not going to get your expected value, mainly because, so a lot of people confuse retail value with expected value. Expected value is what you can sell it at in my opinion retail value is what a large vendor can sell at there is a huge price gap between those two next we have ancestral visions which is a 47 dollars card reprinted with new artwork as a rare uh, this one will tank absolutely tank the price of the card should be interesting should be something that uh, you have to look out for, I mean, it's great in modern. So they printed cards. I assume they would print more legacy-based cards, but they are printing modern cards. Like, their focus has been on modern. So this is pretty much a modern Masters, again, with a little hint of legacy Masters. Or now they call it Eternal Masters. But a great card to see here. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to do, GP Houston is in January, I believe. I'm going to sell a huge amount of my collection there, uh, mainly because I think it's time to let it go. Uh, these reprints are great for the game. Like People sometimes confuse what my stance is. My stance has been very clear recently. Great for players. I support reprints. Everyone should have four copies of the cards they need to have four copies of. I unfortunately have a collection that has more than four copies of many of these prime cards. So I, it is time for me to say goodbye to them, right? Like I'm going to keep my four copies and be more of a magic player, but I'm not going to have eight copies of Horizon Canopy. I don't own eight copies of this, so it's good because now I can pick up my four copies. This is an $88 land, $88, and I actually need it for death and taxes. I know most decks don't play it. Most death and taxes decks do not play it. But I really want it, and I think that I I just waited and waited for a reprint, and then finally there was a reprint. This one is going to absolutely get slaughtered because it's going to be reprinted as a rare. And 
Grove of the Burn Willow, Willows, same deal, $41. I mean, it hit $80 at one time when the Dredge was better. Uh, or what was it? It was uh, Tron. Tron wanted to play this card a lot. Still a great card. And now you can get play sets for probably $40, maybe $60, $15, $15, $20. This will plummet into. Those two are the big ones, in my opinion. Uh, Grove and Horizon Canopy just because of what they are. They are lands that are more than $40. Ancestral Visions is very good. They did a smart thing. They stocked up on the rare slots. So the mythic slots, if you look at the rares versus mythics, the rares actually, some of them cost way more than the mythics, right? When you look at Archangel or Avacyn, you would much rather have a growth of the Burn Willows and you actually have a higher chance of getting on those. Next, Flusterstorm, $83. I, I, I'm not sure what makes a card iconic or not, but I'm glad that this is being reprinted. It needs a reprint. So I don't own any, I own a lot of Ancestral Visions, but I don't own any Avacyns. I don't own any Archangels. I do not own Flusterstorm. I do not own any Horizon Canopies, and I do not own any uh, Willow Groves. So I'm going to benefit immensely from this set. And if you don't own any of these cards either, you're going to benefit immensely too. But I did get beaten over some other reprints, but the net positive, it's always a net positive because what I found is you don't want to have too many copies of one card, but when they reprint something, it is, you can buy like Caracas. I never imagined I would get a place at Caracas for the price that you can get it at now, but that was very good. A glimpse. I've always wanted for a glimpse, but I can never pay thirty dollars for this card because I was like, ah, this is kind of a mm, mill card. It's more super casual. I don't know why this super casual card has to be so expensive. But now that it's going to drop back down to earth, which I assume is anywhere between ten to fifteen dollars, I, I feel better paying forty dollars for a playset of reprints. So, Wizard of the Coast is doing a very good job of cornering the secondary market, which they should have done all along, right? The whole protect your collectors, like, I don't know what that means. Like, who are these collectors? And why don't they have real, like, real jobs? Like, why does, why are they collect, why are they putting such monetary investment in a child's card game? That's what Magic Gathering is, right? At the core of it. So, I'm happy. I'm happy with all these reprints. I am... You know, I probably make another video about like the cards that I got killed on, and I did get killed on many cards. So, Oblivion Stone, that was a good one. I actually wanted it for Tron. I remember it, I did not re I did not realize it had declined so much from the peak. I just remember the peak. So eighteen dollars, probably going to be like under ten, definitely. So any card over forty dollars would probably be twenty five dollars. Any card over $20 will probably be $10 or less. And essentially, you can just cut the prices in half. The set has a lot of value, and the value is not in the Mythics. So that's good. That makes a very, very healthy expected value on the box. And that makes players happy because they are more likely, you're more likely to get a Horizon Canopy than you are to get an Avacyn. But that's good because Horizon Canopy is $88, and Avacyn is what, $28? So. And Afer Vial at Rare, I believe, is $45. I mean, your rares are amazing. I mean, just look at, I mean, they're just so sick, right? All the value is in the rares, so we never had a set quite like this. Most times they just hide the value in the Mythics, but the Mythics kind of are not great. To be, when, I mean, you have the five Praetors, you have Avacyn, you have Archangel, you have Mana Drain, which is pretty good, but... I'm more excited for the rares because they are more like you're more much more likely to open one of those uh, than you are to open even Avacyn and to have a Vial double the price of an Avacyn. That's very very good. Anyway, let let me know what your favorite what your favorite reprint in Iconic Masters is so far, and if you're excited to buy into any of these cards or buy a playset. Bye guys.